Professor Mills and he woke up one day from his house as a vice president and by even to his surprise he was president and God confirmed that event by ensuring that he won in the 2012 elections he came for eight months he was in court the whole international community funding was not coming and then within three years and four months his achievements 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 in health achievements in social infrastructure unprecedented in the annals of this country with only 54 billion he was able to do so much we believe that God had a purpose for him going away so that Ghanaians could see the difference on this auspicious day as we are eulogizing our founder one of the sons that he brought up that he nurtured that he trained that rose from being an assemblyman a member of parliament a deputy minister a minister a vice president and a former president and coming again to be president his excellency john dramani mahama the incoming president ladies and gentlemen as he comes all those of you who have candles i'd like you to light your candles light your candles wherever you are if you don't have a candle light your phone light your phone and then i even smoke as home first well. light your candle all candles on all phones on i will light this candle in the memory of our great and departed founder light your phones modern technology in memory of jj rollins the leader of the revolution the founder of the fourth republic the one who bequeathed to us this fourth republican constitution who ended all coup d'etats who brought democracy and stability to ghana and the entire sub-region, the man we celebrate today. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, John Dramani Mahama. Let's give him a big round of applause. Amen. Wone ma hoting. I pray my Na who says so ye any that's who? I pray ya papa. And see boy and oh. Boy and oh. Boy and to me, yeah, where you man only one wanting a brow, why am I? Oh, Sansoni, where need us so a brow, papa, and Tibuano, Heradia Buano, Minya Mia Buane, Heradia. Ama wetu miya ye wetu ma enunti buaye minya miya buaye oyine buaye ne eradiye ama yetu miya ye wetu ma wetu ma wina wa friendo a 
abemu bi ofikesi adwuma yi wo na wa fre no abemu bi ah anka ni padon bebre na wo ho to be mommy na so no a na wa fre no wa bu ni bi nti na wa fre no eh ni padon bebre na wo ho na so wa na radi afre wo Eradia bubi and tinawa frewo messi and tipuayeno eradia puayeno minya mia puayene eradia amaya tu mia ye wechuma messi eradi buano minya mia puan adufe buane eradia Ama wetu umia ye wejuma. Amen. Lift your hands up and wave. Wuna wo frayen. Say embra baye wejuma. Wuna wo frayen. Say embra baye wejuma. Wuna wo frayen. Say embra baye wejuma. Wabo. Wabo, wabo, Messi, wabo, wabo, wabo. Thank you very much. Kindly be seated. Comrades and friends. We've gathered here with our little candles and lighted them in memory of a great person who not only lived amongst us, but inspired us, led us, fought for a better life for all Ghanaians, and fought for the ideals of social justice. Just as these little candle lights flicker, even as the w wind blows and they refuse to go off, the flame refuses to go off, so will the flame he lit in Ghana never be extinguished. The great men who come along once in a lifetime, and we say that they will never die. It was said of Nkrumah that he would never die. His opponents mistook it to mean that he was being deified like Jesus Christ. But all it meant was that his memory would live on and he will never die. It is the same with Jerry Rawlings. His memory would live on and he will never die. You will always come across his memory. Recently, I went to the Afram Plains and at the Deba of chiefs and people, one of the chiefs, slightly elderly man, said that we were here and nobody knew that we existed and that it was Flight Lieutenant Jerry Rawlings who came and discovered us and it is he who has made us who we are. Everything we have today, our roads, our hospital, the electricity, the water, it is his vision that brought all that to us. I thought that that was a very powerful testament. Many years after he left office, this chief was speaking very powerfully about what he had done for them. I'll just say a few anecdotes of some of my personal experiences with him before I read my official statement. We wrote to him, I was president, and cabinet had decided that the FPSOs that we use on our oil fields should be named after ex-presidents. 
And so the first one was named after Kwame Nkrumah, FPSO Kwame Nkrumah and the Jubilee Field. The next one was named posthumously after President John Ivan Satamels. And then there was the third one for the Sankofa Field. And the manufacturers were pressing us for a name, E and I. And so I got them to write a letter to him. And you know those presidential letters. In line with Kavanaugh's decision to name FPSOs after ex-presidents, I am directed by His Excellency the President to inform you that it has been decided to name the FPSO for the ENI Sankofa field after you. Very imposing letter. And he wrote back to us. And he says he declined for the FPSO to be named after him. He says you can name it after any of the our chiefs, our great chiefs. And he gave examples of those chiefs. Bewa, Jakba, Prempe, and several others. And he said those famous words that I prefer to be remembered in the hearts of men than by monuments and statues. That was the man. And so, of course, the next FPSO, if you remember, was named after former President uh, J.E. Kufo. But that's one of the experiences with him. There was another time we attended a funeral together at the forecourt of the state house. And I was sitting next to him. And so when I sat down, I started exchanging pleasantries. And for those of us who have worked with him for quite a while, we know how to look out for his mood. There are sometimes he wants to be left alone. And there are sometimes he's in a good mood and he wants to chat. And so when you sit down, just recognize which of the moods he is in that day. And just respect it. If he's not in the mood to talk, just keep quiet and sit. And so that's what we did. That day he was not in the mood to talk. I exchanged a few pleasantries and I realized he was not forthcoming. And so we just sat together quietly and watched what happened. And then later, a newspaper, a radio station interviewed me and said, you know, but why were you sitting with Jerry and you guys were not chatting? And I said, you need to gauge his mood because it depends on which mood he has. And so if he's not in the mood to talk, you know, don't bother him with any uh, long talk. There's another joke we shared at Hogbe Chocho. We were sitting together and the Agwaja was taking place seriously. And all the back, you know, moves and all that. And then I cracked the joke. I told him, I said, boss, I called him boss. You see why you Ewe men don't get back ache? It's because of the vigorous Agbaja and the back exercises you do. He laughed and didn't say anything. And then that occasion you saw was when he was being given a doctorate at the University of Development Studies. And while we were at that function, there was a cultural troupe from the north that was doing the Bamaya dance. And for those of you who know the Bamaya, it involves a lot of waist shaking. I thought he had forgotten about this. And he said, Chief, you see why you Northerners don't have waist pains? You see how they are shaking their waist? You know, I mean, that's the kind of person we have lost. One of my recent experiences was in the choice of our running mate. I had to consult all the leaders and elders of the party. I had done quite a lot of consultation, and uh, we had fixed the date, a Monday, to take a final decision. And so I asked to see him on Saturday. And so I went and saw him that Saturday, and um, I read out the names of those who had been shortlisted without 
saying what my own preference was. And there were five names. So he asked me, he said, have you finished all the consultations? I said, well, there are just a few more. I have to see Elijah Muhammad Idrisu and a few more of the Council of Elders. He said, okay, why don't you finish with them and then come back and let's, you know, uh, discuss and then you can make the final choice. So let's meet tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. When do you say the event is? I said, it's on Monday. He said, okay, but I'll be in Tefle. I said, oh, no problem. I'll drive out there. And then we can sit by the water and drink some coffee. So he agreed. And um, I left. I finished the consultations. The next morning, I was getting ready to drive to Tefle. And then he called me and said, Chief, I decided to spare you the journey. Don't waste your time driving all the way to Tefle. Look on your phone. I've sent you a text. And he went up the line. So I checked my phone. And he said, you didn't tell me your choice. But I knew that your choice was Professor Nana Jane Opoku Ajiman. He said, and you know his favorite, he said, she's a woman of integrity. And I think that you should go with her. That was the text. And so that sealed my decision. And um, everything else is history. But when the time comes, there are a lot of moments we shared with him that will be useful for us to put on paper in books for those of us who worked with him so that future generations will know and understand the person that we are mourning today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and our brothers and sisters around the world, and those joining us on TV via the internet. I thank you for joining us tonight as we pay homage to a most remarkable individual, a father, a husband, a soldier, a leader, a revolutionary, our comrade, president, a statesman, and my boss, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, the first president of our Fourth Republic. News of his death hit us like a thunderbolt. It is the kind of news that everyone can remember exactly what time, where you were, or even what you were doing at the time you heard the news. I was just arriving in Obuasi area to begin the third day of our campaign tour of the Ashanti region when the news was broken to me via a phone call. It was too shocking to be true. I made a few more calls to some close relatives to verify if the information I had had was true. And alas, our worst fears were confirmed. The last time I met him at his mother's funeral and subsequently had a telephone conversation with him after the funeral, he sounded hale and hearty and didn't appear like any, any, anybody who was going anywhere anytime soon. I later le learned he had been host hospitalized when I was leaving for the Ashanti region. A quick call to one of his aides reassured me that he was taking a rest and being observed by the doctors after the stress and fatigue of his mother's funeral. Flight Lieutenant Jerry Rawlings has been an enigma all his life, and no wonder his manner of departure from this world had to be sudden and totally unexpected. Like any leader, there were those who loved him and would lay down their lives for him. There are also, unfortunately, those who disliked him with a passion. And this is already reflecting in his life sports scripts being written by many authors. Since his passing, I've seen several postscripts eulogizing him, and I've seen a few others in anguish that he, didn't, he passed away so peacefully. This marks the end of an era. But it's also the beginning of an era. The persona of Rawlings bestrides Ghana like a colossus. 
His impact on the current trajectory of our country has been immense and it's necessary for us to find the right balance to appraise his role as the founder of Ghana's current democracy. His life was tumultuous. His life was filled with tragedy and triumphs. Death is the ultimate leveler. And we must use this occasion of his passing to bring healing to our nation. He was our comrade, and we worked with him. I called him boss, and he called me chief. He was not perfect. Neither are we perfect. We had our disagreements, and we had, we had our joyous moments of success. Having led this country for 19 years, longer than any past leader has and ever will, his impact on where our country has come from and where it is headed cannot be understated. Let us make his death bring us together. As the longest serving head of state of our country, he was the leader of the revolution. He was a royal of Anglo. He was the husband of our former first lady, Her Excellency Nana Konedo Ajman Rawlings. He was the father of Zanetto and her siblings. And also importantly, he was the founder of the National Democratic Congress, the NDC. And he was also a former president. So all these interests own the man. And these interests must come together to give him a simple but befitting farewell. What happens with our mortal remains are ephemeral. As was said by Shakespeare in the book Julius Caesar, the evil that men do lives after them. The good is often interred with their bones. For the cadres of the revolution and the members of the NDC, we must work and fight to ensure that his good is not interred with his bones and that his positive impact on the history of this nation is preserved for posterity and that the principles that he stood for are recounted to future generations yet unborn. Thanks to the organizers of this vigil, and may all who knew and appreciated him continue to celebrate his life. Knowing him and having worked with him, we all recognize his distaste for flamboyance, pomp, and pageantry. Let our party, therefore, NDC, the government, his family, and the Anglo state work together to celebrate his life and use his passing as an occasion for healing this nation and bringing us together again as one people with one nation and one destiny. These flaming candles we hold in our hands are symbolic of the good fight he fought. He struggled for us to remain together. His was a life well lived. Boss, your death is not an end, but a mark of new beginnings. Indeed, as you said, and I quote, we owe a sacred duty to Ghana to serve her people and help to achieve our legitimate aspirations. The worst crime is to abuse the trust reposed in us and thus destroy the hope of our people that the sacrifices we make will yield a better future for all of us. Quotations closed. Walk on. Stay well, brave soldier, senior comrade. Walk on. We're grateful for your life. We thank God for giving you to Ghana. May you rest in perfect peace. And may the flame you lit in Ghana continue to burn forever and ever. We will observe a moment of silence, both for our falling founder, but also in memory of our former president, John Ivan Mills, and our former vice president, Parkwesi uh, Misahata. Let's observe a minute silence for these three personalities, but also for all the many comrades who have fought falling in the battle. 
May their memories continue to live with us. A minute silent, please. May God continue to preserve and bless us all. I thank you very much. By a special request, the cadets led by the general secretary want to sing a song, and so we'll humbly invite them to come to sing. Okay, they'll be there. I should bring the mic. Revo, 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 Jean has a long way to go, but has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution. Has a long way to go, but has come to stay. Kedes may come, Kedes may come, but the revolution has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution has a long way to go. But has come to stay. Kedas, Kedas, may come. Kedas, may come. But the revolution has come to stay. Revo, Revo, Revolution has a long way to go. But has come. To stay. Continue. People. 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 Action. Okay. We will sing the party anthem. Are you all ready? Are you ready? Shall we all live? Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. If you are ready to sing the party anthem. Arise. Arise for Ghana, ye patriots of the land, to work and seek your future development. I go from victory unto victory, D and DC shall lead a stable democracy. Ghana, our strength in unity from victory, from victory unto victory. The NDC shall lead a stable democratic Ghana, our strength in unity. In Kawaii, why am I no? Why am I no? Why am I no? No, near no, near JM Wyamino, JJ Wyamino, Esanato Wyamino, Kimati Wyamino, Mosquito Wyamino, Nana J Wyamino, Ofosopa for Miamino, Aruna Wyamino, Bagman Wyamino, Ada Wyamino, Bavlo Wyamino, Emofiama Wyamino, Wyamino, non yete non yebay. Non yete. Not here by why I mean, eh, why I mean, eh, eh, why I mean, not here, not here by why I mean, to buy, to buy, no, only valet jata, 
Jatanya la o Na la o la o si O ma lo Where is the Akbaja group? Baba, Baba, they should come They should come and display O ma lo O ma lo O ma lo No only vale jata jata ye la o fia e na la o la o si o ma lo o o do dio akaka vo akata kata kata e akata kata kata e and this is Akata, eh? Akata Maso. And this is Akata, eh? Akata Maso. Akata, 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 eh? I say Akata, 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 eh? Akata Maso. And this is Akata, eh? Akata Maso. And this is Akata, eh? Akata maso, endi si akata e. Akata maso, endi si akata e. Akata maso, beni emiwa, ingbe ameyo, amejo fwe kete abloji menejo ameba. Was more, I'm a dog. We want to bring proceedings to a formal ending and would therefore like to call on Madame Shariaite to come and give us a closing prayer. And this Shari give us a closing prayer as His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and all the other dignitaries. Are departing. We haven't closed though. We are now coming to start the full way keeping with Bobo Bo, Agbaja, and other songs. Choboy! Choboy! Akata, 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 hey! Akata, man, so. Akata, 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 hey! Akata, man, so, and this is akata, hey! Akata, man, so, and this is akata, hey! Akata, man, so. We want to take the opportunity on behalf of His Excellency, our flag bearer, John Dramani Mahama, the next president in 2021, we want to thank everybody for joining us tonight to honor our founder, Jerry John Rawlings. We say may God bless all of you and may you arrive safely in your house. May the presence of God go with you and protect you and defend you and give you the energy so that we will go forward and win this election to honor our founder. Father, bless everybody. Protect everybody in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. So, as the Ebobobo people get ready, we want to sing one song to remember our founder. Oza mina 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 Oza mina mina Abele Abele Umasi Bantama Abele O Za mina mina E Abele O Inke za mina mina ko Ka Za mina mina ko Ka Za mina mina ko Ka ka Za mina mina Be Abele 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 Umasi Bantama Abele O Zamina mina e abele o ke bo 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 ke bo bo bo
Agbemenya woli ho Afimye vacho Agbemenya woli ho Agbemenya woli ho Afimye vacho Agbemenya woli ho Jidodo enye Agbenono Fatiki Jibodi enye Efe ati zote Mega chijile akbe menya Ohuhu Ole afi mye vacho Ja le 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 na ne womlo E na ne womde Me ma buwe na da Yeah. 